So here you see the direction of the magnetic field. You see the north, that direction, and then I put the magnet in that direction. You see the same direction of the what the compass shows. You see north south, and I put one magnet at the back side and one magnet at the other side, the at the south side. Now. I, I want to tell you a little something, even if you are wrong, if you put the magnet in the wrong place, it's not so bad, you will still have good effects on your beehive, so it's not so important. Uh, the, the, the good position of the magnets on your beehive is not so important, you can even put the magnets anywhere, but it's just the good common sense, the, my, my intuition that tells me to, to put the magnets in the same uh, um, direction of the natural earth magnetic field. I think it's better. But uh, even if you don't put it in the natural direction, you will still have the beneficial effects of the magnetic field of the magnets on your beehive. Huh? So uh, don't, uh, 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 don't be stuck on that uh, problem. It's not a problem just use magnets and if you can put it in the goods in the same direction of the earth magnetic field is even better so you see one magnet like this or the two magnets will will have an effect like one meter around it will create like a bubble of of two three feet around or one meter around uh, uh, um, and inside the 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 beehive. Huh? So if you use the two, the two applications, the 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 copper uh, the copper band or copper wire and the the magnet, uh, you will really increase a lot your results. You will not understand what is happening <laughs> in comparison to before, and you will see you will even not need to use any chemicals or even not any organic uh, 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 products or, or chemicals to, uh, against sicknesses and all those things because those sicknesses will just not appear or will be controlled by the bee population itself. Um, I want also to tell you I'm, I'm thinking of a new solution against a, a problem that uh, we find now in France against a kind of Asian uh, wasp or, or uh, a big insect that eats the bees. And uh, uh, I will tell you more later because I think uh, I, I have to try out a solution um, with electricity, uh, uh, with a little bit electricity, and, and I think uh, I will have find the solution. But I have to try it out. It's a little bit too soon to talk about it maybe but uh, if you have ideas that uh, are in electroculture or around magnetics or around those things uh, don't hesitate to share uh, 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 because it can be useful to others uh, um, another interesting fact that's from discovery from John Harding it's a beekeeper an English beekeeper that did a lot of research about the relation with electromagnetics and bees and he discovered like in dowsing that um, or about the earth magnetic lines that if you put the beehive on the crossing points of Hartmann lines you solve already a lot of problems it increases dramatically the vital energy of the bee population it's very good for the bee population and and you will already have a lot better results. Huh? So it's uh, quite easy to find also if you learn a little bit basic skills of dowsing. Uh, so on the, you put then the beehives on the crossing points of Hartmann line. So you have three applications that are very useful in electroculture for bees. You have the magnets, you have the, the, the copper wire, uh, the, copper, the copper band, and you have to put your bees on the crossing points of Hartmann lines. So let's do it, share your good results and um, I wish you all the best. <laughs> Thank you, bye bye.